Hey there, everybody. This is CP Cards and Dice, and welcome to Tabletop Baseball TV. And um, we are basically continuing to present part three of the three-part replay baseball tutorial. 101, as I call it, with no extras, no additional uh, symbols or anything like that, just except for the stolen bases, which I used one time with Bert Campanaris, just because it was Bert Campanaris, and I know he was stealing a lot of bases in the early 70s. So uh, that's about it. Uh, we are in the top of the seventh. It's 4-1 to one Mets. Mets had got four runs in the first inning on a grand slam by John Milner. Later on, it was the bottom of the sixth that saw the first Oakland A's run score when, with two outs, up came Marty Alou and hit a deep drive for uh, a home run. And that brought the the A's within three runs of the Mets. We're in the top of the seventh. It's going to be Don Hahn, the center fielder, followed by Buddy Harrelson, the shortstop, and then Jerry Kuzman, the pitcher. Now, both pitchers, Blue can go 29. 29. And so far he's gone 18 plus 6 is 24. So he's still going another 5. And uh, Jerry Kuzman. Kuzman can go 30. And he's well below that. Actually, not, not necessarily. He's 20, he's 27 and 7. Is 34. Uh, wait a second. No, 18 and 7 is 25. All right, so see what happens. Let's move on. Top of the seventh. Don Hahn against Vita Blue. And we use the red is going to be the column. We're going to put that on the column. And the white is going to be the row, the result. So that's a 42, column three. And then the two, column three again. Two is a one. So a 42 and a one is a 43 on column three. Go to the chart. Because you got to go to the chart. 43 on column, I believe it was a 42. It's a 42 plus a 1. So it's a 43 on column 3. And it's a line drive towards left field versus a left-handed pitcher, which Vita Blue is. So single to left, runner advances two bases. Okay. So that's line base hit for Don Hahn. He's on it first. Buddy Harrelson's next. Column three and a three makes it a five. And column three and a five is a seven column three. So a five and a two is a seven column three. And that's going to be line base hit to left. Runners advance one base. First and second, Jerry Kuzman. Now, Jerry Kuzman, pretty fundamentally, is going to try to bunt. So we're going to have to go to the bunt chart here. Let me show you how it works. Now, we know he's bunting. And that's on the back of the, the hit result chart. Sacrifice bunt chart is right there. And we have to check and see what. Let's see what uh, Kuzman is bunting. He's a pitcher batting card three bunter. So the infield is in. They're expecting him to bunt. So we're going to roll 2d6 here. Actually, we'll roll 3d6 in case we need it. So it's going to be a 6. A 6 is a sacrifice plus a potential error. Who feels it? The first baseman. Uh, first baseman, and we don't have any information on the first baseman. But we will roll 2d6, and that's going to be a 34. The first baseman is tennis. So let's see. let's see. Gene Tennis as a first baseman is a 35. We roll just below that, so he makes the play. And that's going to be a 3, I guess a 3-4 sacrifice, uh, sacrifice. And both runners move up to second and third now. That's going to bring up Wayne Garrett. Top of the order for the Mets. This is the 28th batter, so we're going to get some action in the bullpen. Action in the bullpen for the A's. It's going to be Daryl Knowles out there. He pitched in all seven games for the first time ever 
first time ever a relief pitcher pay, plays in pitches in all seven games of the, of the World Series. So uh, Wayne Garrett, you know what? He's a lefty. I'm going to bring in Daryl Mills right now. I'm going to bring in Daryl because there's two lefties coming up. And I don't want to wait till Mian because he'll be a righty. So let me bring in uh, Daryl Knowles right now. Uh huh. So we're going to have to pull a. Let me take, I'm going to pull a double switch. I got to go back to the 73 World Series and check. Check the following day's game. We're not the following day's game, but, but the following game. All right. Uh, Pep Borks, they got a lot of, they have the Panamanian Express, Alan Lewis on this team. I don't know that I have his card though. Uh, Angel Mangual. Okay, we're going to bring in – what is Mungwal doing this one? Mungwal is going to go to center field. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Send Reggie to right. We're going to bring in Mungwal to play center. Hold on one second here. Mungwal is going to play center field. Reggie goes to right, and the pitcher is going to come in on a loose spot. It's going to be Knowles, and we're going to fill that in up here. Knowles comes in. And I like to color in my, my relievers, so... Uh, Nose is going to be pink. All right, so Daryl Knowles comes in, lefty versus lefty. Second and third, infield is in for the A's. We're doing a tutorial here, part three. That's a 65. Uh, we're not, uh, Forget that. It's a six. So it's a column six. A five is a 31. And then a one is a one. That's a 32 column six. 32 column six with the infield in. Let's see what that is. 32 is a pop up to third baseman. So that's. Bando, under it, makes the catch. Two down. Huge out for Daryl Knowles. And now it's Felix Mian. Now, do I... Uh, All right. Here goes. So we're going to get another, another batter for Knowles. Second and third, and feels back. Two. And it's a five. It's a 50. It's a 50. And then a two. It's a 50, 54. So it's a 50 plus the two is a four. It's a 54. Column two. 54 column two is a ground out to second base. Green is up with it. Over to the first baseman, tennis, 4-3, and that retires aside. Mets left two, score none. And at the end of six and a half, it's four to one Mets. All right, so it's going to be Jerry Kuzman against Dick Green. And then uh, Mongwal. Let's see if we could track him.
I've seen his card. He's here somewhere. So we have to track him down a little bit. Now these sets don't come with every player though. I have to, you know, offer the disclaimer. They don't come with every player. Deep drive baseball comes with every player. Pop payoff pitch comes with every player. Inside pitch comes with every player. So I don't ah, there he is. Angel Mangual. Okay, found him. Took me a little bit of finding. All right, so Mangual is going to be batting after green. But your hitting card is out. And here goes. Dick Green versus Jerry Kuzman. It's a five. So it's column five. And it's a 40. And then it's a three. So it's a 43, column five. Let's see what that is. 43, column five is a base on balls. So Green leads us off with a walk. And Mangual is next. Pitch from Kuzman. It's a two. A six is a 55. 55. And a four is a 58. Well, I said four is the, the, the row, so the number is a three. So then a three plus a 55, the six becomes a 55. So 55, the four becomes a three. So it's going to be 55 plus three, 58. I know that sounded weird. I was like 55 plus four is a three, is a, is a 58. That didn't make sense. So uh, it is a 58, and it's column two. 58 column two is going to be a looping drive to the outfield. It's going to be four to the center field. If the outfielder's defense rating is higher than the raised number, the raised number is a three. I know I'm not playing any raised numbers, but in this case I am because it's a three. So if the outfielder's rating is is if the outfielder is higher than the raised number besides he, the batter's card, he's made a fine running catch. So Han, we didn't check and see what Han was. Let's find out what Han is out there. Han is a four four forty six. So we're gonna do that four. 46, and his arm is a 4. Okay. So the raised number is higher, so he makes a fine running catch. That's where he came in here, so we'll, we'll put him in there. Okay. So one out. Mangual flies out to center field. Han makes a nice catch out there. So there's one out here in the bottom of the seven. Bird Campanaris is up. Pitch. It's a th column three. It's a row four, and the result is a 57. And it's a row three, which the result is a one. It's a 58, column three. And it's going to be a potential rare play. So let's roll one die. And a two is going to be no rare play. We play it as a fit dribbler toward the mound. And uh, we're just going to go – well, we can go – try to go to second base on this. I know I said I wasn't going to read anything, but it says, Pitcher retires the runner of his choice with two outs placed to the first. Roll one die against the runner's speed. If the die is higher, he is out. <clears throat> runner's speed is green. Uh, let's see, green, runner's speed. He's a two, so if the die is higher, he is out. And it's a five, so he's out at second base. It's a one-six. Fielder's choice. Campanaris is on now with two outs, bottom of the seven. And Kuzman's gone 27, 28. Kuzman can go 30. Here's a pitch. It's a three, column three. A three makes it a 32. 32 and a two is a one. So that's a 33, column three. 33, column three. And that is lined and right at center field. And he gets there. So Han with two nice catches, and that retires the side. No runs, no hits. We go to the top of the eighth. <clears throat> All right, it's going to be Stop versus Knowles. Here goes five. Five is a 20, and then five is a five, so it's 25. 
column 525, and that's going to be based on balls. And then you check on M, but I'm not going to check M, but it is a walk, leadoff walk for Stav, so he's on it first. Cleon Jones is next. Pitch. It's a three. And then a three is a 32. 32, and then a four is a 34. Total. Because the four equals a two. So it's a 33 equals a 32, and then the four equals a two. So 32 plus two is a 34. Column three. 34, column three. That's a double to right. Runners advance two bases. So Jones gets a hold of one, drives it, splits the outfielders. That's going to roll to the wall. Stop is going to be stopped at third. Second and third now. Second hit of the game for Cleon Jones. He's a veteran who played in the 69 World Series. Garrett played in 69. Jones played in 69. Grody played in 69. Harrison played in 69. So did Kuzman. So five out of nine players played in 69. John Milner, a lefty. Daryl Mills is in there. So we got to give him a couple more pink boxes. How many can Mills go to? He can go to reliever five. He can face five. Five batters. He'll be on his fifth batter, second and third now. Infield is in. That's going to be a four. This is trouble. And then a two is an 18. And then a four is a shortstop. That's a 19. 19 with the infield in is going to be singled, knocked down by the fielder. Runners advance one base. So infield single, hit hard, and all that Campaneras could do is knock it down. And that's going to score a run. Makes it 5-1 to one now. Going to third is Jones. First and third, and now it's Jerry Grody. All righty, we're going to bring in a new, new pitcher. Now let's see who they're using in the 73 World Series doing a tutorial for replay baseball, playing it very, very simple and slow. And let's see who the A's are bringing in from the bullpen. Paul Limblad is another lefty. Raleigh Fingers is in there. Let's go back because the previous day was a long game. Although this is an 11 inning game as well. Previous day game, uh, day's game, or the, 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 the Sunday game, October 14th, was a game that uh, went uh, extra innings, I believe. 10 to 7 was the final score. Something to that effect. We'll check in a second. Uh, okay, Pina's going to come in. Pina and Moon. All right. And I'll tell you a little bit about game uh, two. Oh, no, excuse me, game one. Was this game one? Uh, it was a 12-inning affair, and it was a 10-7. This was game two, right? This is this game that we're playing. Mets won this game 10-7 to in 12 innings. The Mets came up with four runs in the top of the 12th. And we're going to bring in Pena. So Pena, going to look for Pena. The pitchers are blue, so that kind of narrows it down a little bit. The reds are the batters. Now, I don't know if I get Pena in here. I hope I get Pena. I may not get him in this set because, you know, you don't get every single player. So let's look a little bit more closely now. We get uh, Holzman, Fingers. Ah, there's Pena. Okay, so I do get Pena. Pena's going to come in. He's going to be a different color than uh, Going to make Pina blue. All right. So it's Jerry Grody with runners on first and third. And Field's going to come in. Here's the pitch. It's a five. 
A four is a 27 on Grody's card. And a six is going to be a four. So that's a 31. Column five, 31. And that's going to be a fly out center field. Runners hold. If the batter has a a, a little, uh, I don't know what that symbol is called, beside his result with a, with a runner on third base and less than two outs, scores a sacrifice fly. Okay, so let's see if the batter has that. Grody does not have that, so it's not a sacrifice fly. It's like a little umbrella. I'm not sure what that. All right, so it's a fly out center field for two outs. Oh, for one out. That's the first out of the inning. Holy smokes. Okay. Grody flies out. And it's Don Hahn. All right, it's a two, column two. And a four is a 16. And then a two is a three, so it's a 19. A two 19 with first and third in the infield is in. 19. They fly ball center field again. They're on third base, less than two outs, score, sacrifice, fly. Just a fly ball deep enough to get Jones home. Jones is tagging. And it's going to be a sacrifice fly to the center fielder, RBI. And the Mets are up 6-1. to one. Scoring easily is Jones. Two outs. And now it's Buddy Harrelson. Column two, and a three is going to be a two in the box. And then a four is going to be a three. So a two and a three is a five. And a five with runner on first. <clears throat> Let's see. And it's going to be a strikeout. So Harrison strikes out, and that retires the side. But the Mets pick up two runs on two hits. And they lead it by a score of six to one. And Pena can go five as well. All right, so we go to the bottom of the eighth. Now Kuzman has gone 27, 28, 29. Kuzman can go two more. Oh, you can only go 30. So we're going to pull Kuzman here. We're going to pull Kuzman. And who pitched in this game? Let's see. Let's see who I got. Ray Sadecki pitched in this game. And we got Ray Sadecki. He's a lefty. Bando Jackson. There's two righties and one lefty. So we're going to bring in a righty. Who else pitched in this game? Harry Parker. Harry Parker is going to come in for the Mets, replacing Jerry Kuzman. Kuzman won seven innings. So let's write in Parker. And you know what? We're going to allow pa – Parker can go five, really five. So we're going to bring in Willie Mays, put him in center field. And then Parker's going to go in Mays spot. Double switch here. All right, double switch. Then we get a new color. Parker, I guess, is going to be a yellow. Easier to follow. He's going to pitch to at least three batters, I hope. Okay. All right, Parker versus Bando. It's a double switch. Maze is in there, so let's grab Maze so we don't have to grab him later. Willie Maze will be batting. 
uh, next. Here goes Sal Bando. It's a two. Column two. A one is going to be a 50. Wow. And then a six in column two is a three. So that's a 53. 53. Column two is going to say ground ball, comebacker. Parker feels his position, throws out Bando. One up, one down. Next is Reggie Jackson, column two. A five is a five. And then a six is a three. So that's an eight in column two. And that is going to be popped up. Left side, third baseman, Garrett. Two outs. Gene Tennis. <clears throat> the pitch. Column five. The results of four there. Four is equal to four. And then a four is an eight. So column five, eight, I believe, is a base on balls. Column five, eight is a base on balls. So a two-out walk. Second time tennis has walked today. And that's pitcher spots. So we're going to get a pinch hitter here. Let's see, we got a righty. So we're going to bring in Vic Davalia. Davalia pinch hits. Then we're going to need a new pitcher. We already have Pena in there. So we're going to go to, I guess, in that ninth inning. We're going to go to uh, Lindblad. Let's pull Lindblad so we have him ready. So we don't have to worry about that. So Lindblad will be coming in. We're going to make him orange. All right, here goes Vic Davalio with two outs, runner on first. Pitch from Harry Parker. It's a five. And a five is a four. And then a six is a five. So that's a four and a five is a nine. Nine column five is a base on balls. So back to back walks. That pushes tennis to second base. Score is 6 1 Mets. <clears throat> this is Harry's fifth, Harry Parker's fifth batter. It's Ray Fossey coming up. So Davalia, the pinch hitter, walks. And this brings up uh, Ray Fossey. Doing a tutorial, a replay baseball tutorial, part three, in case you're interested in playing replay baseball. This is 101. This is uh, Replay Baseball 101 with no extra bells and whistles, just straight forward. Fossey, one. And a three is a two. And then a one is a one. That's strike three because a two to six, I didn't have to look. Two to six in column one is a strikeout. So Parker strikes out Fossey, and that retires the side. No runs, no hits. We go to the top of the ninth. 6-1 Mets. Big hit of the game was Milner's Grand Slam in the first inning. This is a this is three part three of a three-part series of replay baseball tutorials for those that just want to get started, and then little by little they'll add the additional features that the game has plenty of. All right, so it's going to be Willie Mays, the Willie Mays batting for the Mets, and he's going to be facing Paul Lindblad. Lefty versus righty. Here goes. It's a two. <clears throat> and a three is a two on Maze. And then a one is a four. That's strike three. That's a six in column two. And that's a strikeout. So Willie Mays goes down swinging. 
the Say Hey Kid. Next is going to be Wayne Garrett. Here's the pitch to Wayne Garrett. It's a five, column five. And then the three is going to equal to a six. And then the six is going to be equal to a four. That's a ten, column five, ten. And that is a base on balls. And we're going to ignore the letter F. I'm going to ignore that for now. You can do that as you get better at this. So that's a walk. Runner on first. One out. Felix Mian is next. Pitch from Limblad. It's a three. And a two is a two. And then a one is a three. So that's a five, a three five result. And that was column three. And a five is a short fly to left. Charging in is Rudy. He gets there for out number two, F7. And now Rusty Stop. That's a six. That's always trouble in the power. That's always a potential power number. And that's a 60. And then a one is a 62. 62 with runner on first and two outs. 62 says double into the corner. So Rusty pulls one down the line with two outs. Runner with four or five speed scores from first. Uh, Garrett is speed is a four speed. Right at the top there, see it? 4F2. So he will score seven RBI double, two out RBI double for Le Grand Orange. Scoring Garrett. Base running is very easy in this game. I think this is almost diametrically opposed to uh, inside pitch, that where there's a lot of detail in the base running. Most games opt to minimize the detail in the base running. Right, this this uh, particular game does so, minimizes the detail in the base run, just tells you what he does. If there's two outs, he goes the extra base. That's simple. Almost uh, like a payoff pitch type of approach. Whereas inside pitch wants to make base running a key part of the game, an essential part of the game. So Jones a righty now. This is the fifth batter. And we're going to walk Jones. Uh, do we walk Jones a righty and face a lefty? You no, know it doesn't really matter because these guys don't have splits on them. Ah, oh, there is a split there for Milner. There is a split for Milner. And uh, Jones has got two hits, so we're going to walk Jones intentionally. That brings up – that's the sixth batter of the inning, and that's all that Lindblad can go. So he's going to walk – intentional walk to Jones to face Milner. Milner hit uh, – Milner has two hits and, and hit a home run, but we're going to go lefty versus lefty. See what happens. Hope this doesn't bite us. That's a five. And then a one is a five. And then a six is a four. So a five and a four is a nine. And I think that's a base on balls. The runner's on first and second. Let's see what happens. A nine says base on balls. All right. So that's going to be it for Lindblad. And we're going to go to one more, one more pitcher. We're going to bring in uh, – Raleigh Fingers. To try to get out of the inning. We cannot get out of the inning. Late here. All right, let's bring in Raleigh Fingers. we got to turn to Raleigh Fingers to try to get out of this. Actually, you know who pitches in this one? Blue Moon Odom. But I already wrote, wrote Raleigh Fingers in, so we'll bring in Raleigh. It's always good to see him anyway. His handlebar mustache is always a treat. And let's see what other colors we got going here. Ah, we got green. So fingers is going to be green. <clears throat> oh, got flying on me. CP cards and dice. Tabletop Baseball TV doing part three of our three game series on replay baseball tutorial. All right, Jerry Grody coming up. With the bases loaded, we got uh, Legron Orange at third base, Cleon Jones at second, and then Milner at first base. Two outs. Mets are up by a score of seven to one. 
and Jerry Grody. Jerry Grody today is 0 for 4. Here's a pitch. That's a 2. So that's a column 2. A 4 is equal to a 5. And then a 5 is equal to a 1. That's strike 3. 2 to 6 on columns. Two or 1 or 2 is, is a strikeout. I have that memorized. That's a strikeout. And that retires a side. So the Mets come up with one run on one hit. They lead it 7-1 to one going into the bottom of the ninth. It's going to be Green, Mangual, and Campaneris. And the Mets are going to bring in. Who are the Mets going to bring in here? Let's see. Uh, Mets are going to bring in George Stone. George Stone, if he's available, I don't know because – you don't get everybody out. Ah, George Stone is, but he's a lefty. I didn't want to bring in a left here, really, because Green is a righty. Wall is a righty, so I just wanted to bring in a righty. Uh, who else did the Mets have that they were bringing in as a righty? Let's check. Sadecki's a lefty. McGraw's a lefty. Let's have a lot of lefties. Let's go to the next game, see if who the Mets bring in in the next game. Uh, Mets bring in Parker again, Sudeke, McGraw. Um, shoo. Let's go to the game after this, see if the Mets bring in somebody who's a righty besides Harry Parker. It's like they're only righty on the, on, in, the in the bullpen. Yeah. The righty-lefty switch, you know, wasn't as important. The platoon advantage wasn't as important as it is today. I'm going all throughout this series. Yep. All right. So we're going to bring in a lefty because that's what we got. We're going to bring in George Stone. George Stone is going to come in. He's going to face in, face Green. <clears throat> Looking for another color. Do I have one? I have a purple color. I'll bring in a I'll use purple color. Got that. So George Stone is going to be purple. He's going to go hopefully at least three. All right, here goes. George Stone, the lefty versus Dick Green. Bottom of the ninth. 7-1 to one Mets. Game two. Mets are already up 1-0 in the series. So that's going to be a column two. And a five is a four. And a one is a one strike three. So Green strikes out. Between two and six, column two and one is a strikeout. That I've memorized that. And next is going to be Mangual. Mangual is Angel Mangual fly out the center. It's a three. And a one is a 31. And then a six is a four. So 31 and a four is a 35. Column 35. And that's going to be a double. Splits the outfielders. Willie Mays after it. One out double for Mangual. Top of the order, Campanaris and Rudy. We're two up next, seven to one. <clears throat> Here's the pitch to Campanaris at the five. Five and a four is a 45. 45. And the two equals a one, so it's a 46 on column five. Oh, 46 on column five. And that's a fly out center field. Two out. And now it's Joe Rudy. He's one for four today. So what did I say it was? It was a 45 plus a 146. I'm double checking this. Yeah, it's a fly out the center. 
Uh, with men on base, you see there's extra information. It says fly out to center or action on the base pass. With men on base, score as a fly out to center, which I did. The, oh, no, with base is empty, it's a fly out to center. So I misplayed that. So uh, so check column M on the base pass for play result. So, so it's not an out to center field. It's an action on a base pass. So then when I'm, this is the first time I'm doing this because it's towards the last part of the, the tutorial. So we're going to go to M, and we're going to roll to the – actually, these three dice and see what happens. So it's not a fly out to center because there's a man on base. So that's going to be a 10. A 10 is a pass ball, potential pass ball. If the blue die is higher than the catcher's pass ball rating. Catcher's pass ball rating is a 4, and the blue die is a 3. So if the die is higher, runners advance one base. If not, I guess you just roll again. So we're going to roll again for Campaneras. So one this time. And a five is a four. And a one is a six. And that's a strikeout. So this time Campanaris strikes out. I'm going to try to get this in here. So that's a strikeout. Two outs. Two strikeouts for Stone in the inning. And that's, next is Joe Rudy. It's a two. And a four is a 16. 16 and a six is a five. So a 16 and a five in the box is a 21, a 221. See what that ends up being. Fly out to left. Right there is Jones, settles under it, squeezes it. Ball game's over. Mets win. They go up 2 nothing in the series. This is part three. Part three of the replay baseball tutorial, and this went 43 and 11. 43, 11 uh, seconds. Um, and that's the ball game. So it's going to be no runs, one hit, two, uh, three, four, six hits. And one run for the A's. I don't believe they committed any errors. And no errors for the Mets either. Mets had a few more hits, I believe. They had one, three, five, six, and three, nine hits. And they had seven runs, so they were able to score more runs easily. Seven runs to one. So it's seven runs for the Mets, nine hits, no errors. For the A's, one run, six hits, no errors. The win is going to go to Kuzman. The loss is going to go to Blue. The Mets are up 2-0 in the series, 2-0 in the series. We go to game three. Then game four, we're going to see Nolan Ryan again. So that's what the reason I'm, I'm replaying this. I want to use Nolan Ryan. And that's it. The CP Cards and Dice for Tabletop Baseball TV. I hope this replay tutorial helps you. Um... And uh, I played it with no bells and whistles. This is just 101 for guys that want to see if it's, you know, how it plays. It's a very simple game. It's a very nice game to play. It's a lot of fun. I'll be honest with you. Right now, it's like the golden age of, of tabletop baseball. There's so many different games. So I'm really trying to, you know, focus on a few of them. Uh, and, uh, and, and all the games have something to offer, definitely for sure. There's some games that are, I call them the Cold War era games where they were built in the late 50s, early 60s, you know, the Cuban Missile Crisis games. Those are uh, – they're, they're unique in their own way. There's a lot of love for those games, you know, because it takes us back to our childhood. There's a lot of nostalgia. But I don't know if they really can match up with modern games. There's a lot more information now. It's much more accessible. I mean, they didn't have baseball reference back then. You know, cybermetrics didn't exist. You know, billy ball didn't exist back then. In the, in the late 50s, early 60s. So I think we have uh, 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 an ease uh, or a comfort or a familiarity with data nowadays. And I think that kind of lends itself to an overall better, uh, 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 mm, uh, a more fluid structure in determining results using triads like uh, pitchers and outfielders and batters and, and all that stuff. So anyway, 
CP Cards and Dice saying thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Take care.